what's up you people uh, today is 31st of October and I am right now heading to the uni because I have my exams on 1st 2nd and 3rd of November so yes uh, we are gonna do block pulls today uh, deadlifts so block pulls and then high volume back workout so yeah stay tuned I'm gonna take you through my workout today back workout is gonna be an epic workout we're gonna do heavy block pulls and then we're gonna do high volume stuff so <laughs> gonna take this food in library but this told me that no hot food allowed in library so I'm sitting here alone and my all stuff is in library so yeah I'll show you what I have I'm having mm -hmm. Chicken rice, double chicken, and uh, with some garlic, garlic yogurt, and mayonnaise with hummus. Yes, let's eat and back to work. I'm not eating this food again. No, this is the worst chicken rice I have ever had. Right now I have to finish it because I'm very very hungry. But no, not this food again. Welcome back everyone. I'm back from uni now had my meal meal uh, and now I'm heading to gym today is back day so it's high volume back day first we are gonna do heavy lift of block pulls and then a uh, high volume of uh, of back yeah conventional back day so yeah see you at the gym enjoy the workout I had only one scoop of pre-workout left and uh, they're so idiot of me that i kept the lid open when i took it last time so basically it uh, it is dried inside and very sticky so yeah guys don't keep your supplements open otherwise you may ruin it let's grab a monster welcome to the workout guys uh, i started my workout with the heavy block balls here uh, I'm doing block pulls. I'm warming up with the uh, high blocks, and then I did uh, 315, five into five of uh, low block pulls. It will help you. This is an accessory exercise for uh, for building up your deadlifts. If you have a uh, if you have a weaker deadlift, or if you if you are struggling with the upper portion of your dead deadlift you can you can always do block uh, pulls or rack pulls it will help you build that strength the second exercise i did was a smith machine row uh, i i used overhand grip here uh, to to focus on more on my upper upper back 
I can say and uh, here I am trying to be as parallel as possible and opening my lats as as much as I can mm, I did uh, four sets of 10 to 12 reps on these uh, it is a very good exercise for building up your upper back and I'm not going much heavy on this but uh, I'm focusing on volume the third exercise I did was lat pull down mm, underhand grip uh, underhand grip will will help you focus on more on your lower lats so first we did block pulls second we did smith machine rows which you uh, which was more focused on upper back now we are doing under grip lat pull down which will be more focused on lower lats lower part of your back and uh, i did pyramid sets here four sets of 8 to 12 reps uh, going heavy each set uh, as you can see here uh, I'm, I'm just holding the weight and and uh, uh, I use this technique called like pulling from your elbows uh, which helps you get more mind and muscle con contraction and uh, and give you give you good pump and help you engage uh, those lower legs uh, very nicely and the fourth exercise i did was cable rows mm, this is this is more focused on the mid middle part of your pack and uh, as you can see here i am using the same technique as i am using on lat pull downs i am just using my hands to hold the weight and thinking that uh, i am pulling from my elbows so it helps me get more uh, good mind and muscle contraction and engage those less the last exercise the finisher this is my this is my favorite finisher for back workout mm, cable pullovers this is a very good exercise for finishers i did four sets of 10 to 12 reps and uh, focusing on contracting those lats and uh, going light don't use heavy weight on this use light weight on this ah that was it guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe don't forget to subscribe and comment down if you have any questions See you until next time. Bye.